So tonight's film was a film I should have rented ages and ages ago. Uh, this is Walter Salas's Central Station. It's from Brazil. I have wanted to see this film since uh, Fernanda Montenegro was nominated for Best Actress in 1999. This film came out in 1998. I was 12. Um, I have been a, a, a rabid watcher of Oscar-nominated things since I was like eight. So, you know, I was really into it. My hometown did not get this film, obviously. And uh, my hometown rental store didn't get it either. It didn't have very many foreign language films. Um, cut to 2005 and I finally have Netflix. Did I rent it? No, I failed. I failed. And then when I cut DVD Netflix and moved to streaming Netflix, it was never on streaming Netflix. And I just utterly failed. Um, and I meant to grab the disc. It's over there by my television. I rented it from Videodrome because I was sitting down coming up with a list of things I wanted to rent from Videodrome because I want to keep going to Videodrome. Um, you know, keep that video store in business as best I can, and so uh, I was like, you know what, what are all those movies that I've wanted to see for years? Write them down, and so uh, I rented two of them this week, you'll find out the other one later, um, And but I was like, Central Station, 20 years, finally watching it, worth the wait. This is such a beautiful, wonderful, just heartbreaking film, um, gorgeous, true emotions. A wonderfully complex female character in Nindora, played by Fernanda Montenegro, who starts out one way and truly grows as a character, and not in a like ooh movie growth kind of way, but in a true like life can change you kind of way. It's it's gorgeous, and her um, chemistry with the boy in it, played by Vin Vinicius de Oliveira, is just wonderful. Um, it's a beautiful film. It's about a retired school teacher named Dora who writes letters for those who cannot write for themselves in the central station of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, hence the title. Um, one of them is a woman who has a young son, and she's writing to this, the father of the son. Um, unfortunately, before she, Dora can mail the letters, and half the time she doesn't mail the letters regardless, um, the mother is killed, and the boy is left with nothing. Um, lots of shit goes down. Obviously, I don't want to spoil it, so I don't want to tell you how they wind up, how they wind up, but eventually they wind up trying to find his father, and shenanigans ensue. And it's, it's beautiful, and, and the growing of the relationship between the two characters is lovely, and, um, there's just such, such, uh, true emotion in Fernanda Montenegro's face in her looks, in in how she can be so horrible in one moment and so just selfless in another um, within like five minutes of, of it at sometimes. Beautiful, sh beautiful cinematography by uh, Walter Carvalho, who also shot nothing I've seen. Okay. Um... This fits really well in with the other two Walter Salas films that I've seen. He's made a handful of films. I've seen two others. These are um, Motorcycle Diaries, which came out when I was in college, and um, On the Road, which came out when I was in grad school. Uh, he really is able to capture the dynamic um, energy of two people traveling together. The, the, the friction, the camaraderie, all of it. He captures that really well. He also sh shoots um, the road just so beautifully, uh, just so beautifully. All three of these films are gorgeous, gorgeous road films. Um, so I recommend seeking this out. It was unexpected. I actually didn't really know the plot going in, so sorry if just told you more about what it's actually about than I uh, knew going in. I just knew I wanted to see it. Um, just a fantastic film. I love it. When a, a movie, uh, I mean, a lot of movies make me cry, but um, this one really snuck up on me. By the end, I was just like a mess. Um, so if you like road movies, if you like strong performances, if you like super complicated protagonists, 
this is a movie, definitely a movie for you. Uh, Central Station, it's on DVD. You can rent it. It is so good. Walter Salas, starring Fernando Montenegro. So, so good.